Welcome back to the channel! Back once again. It's gonna be a rant. I'm already gonna point that out straight from the get-go. If you're not here for a rant, it's gonna be a rant. We gotta talk about the AAA gaming studios, dude. Why do we keep on paying more and more and more and more and more for listen, 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 listen? It's getting ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna single out Ubisoft in, in, in Extremis here, uh, but let's be honest uh, ea does this blizzard does this every single triple a game studio does this and it's high time we get some laws in here and th this shit has to stop this is it's getting ridiculous uh boom let me pop it up you already know where i'm going with this okay i mean most of the guys over here that that, that watch my videos uh i'm assuming most of you are, are as well uh Either hardcore gamers or well versed in the uh, disgusting low quality of people in the world. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Star Wars Outlaws. 70 bucks for the base game. Oh, and the pre order bonus. Let's start about that. You get a pre order bonus. Why does it say Shadows? Well, you also get a pre order bonus for. Uh, for <clears throat> Star Wars Outlaws as well. For the love of God, please don't don't buy this game. I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna try really hard not to buy it. It's probably gonna be garbage anyway. Um, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, but this is it's, this is starting to be super unacceptable, and we have to like start fighting back. The standard edition gets the game late, right? Seventy bucks because the three days early access. First of all, it's a single player game. Uh, same with the whole Assassin's Creed thing. Three days early, single player game. You have to pay $110 to play the game on release date. If you play $70, you have to wait three days. This is not early release. This is late release. All right. You pay 110 bucks, 110 bucks for late release, <laughs> for early release, not for late release. If you don't pay, if you just pay the the base game, which I don't even think is worth $70, um, you have to wait three days. You have to play three days late because you're just a peasant and you on only pay seventy dollars for their overpriced garbage let's be honest that is what it is and then there's bonus content so you don't even like you don't even get the full game like this infiltrator bundle the sebek shark bundle you don't get these things you have to pay 130 for this nonsense 130 euros slash dollars for a game is just batshit insane dude <laughs> like because it's like oh but they're cosmetics blah 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 it's a single player game guys I don't give a F about the cosmetics, all right? That is unacceptable. 130 euros for, for, for said game is also unacceptable. Not paying these ridiculous prices, meaning you have to wait three days until after the game is released to even get to play it, is unacceptable. And then the fact that they're trying to, like push you because that's why they're doing this as well like not the early day release this is just acceptable in, in, in all of its form uh but the 18 dollars uh the, the the high prices is to push you into the 18 dollars a month thing because it's like oh only 18 dollars a month that seems fine but then you realize that's 220 dollars a year which is ridiculous i have it's crazy expensive the most expensive one i believe i think ea is like 15 and microsoft is also like 15 i give you pay per month right uh, the Xbox Game Pass thing and the um, EA Play. Uh, I used to pay for EA Pro Play, but they want to put they want to be a, a garbage company. They want to put ads in games that you already paid for. They want to do all of this nasty ass shit. So I voted with my wallet and I I canceled it. Um, same exact thing, Assassin's Creed Shadows Edition. Same exact thing. Three days early, you immediately and they add the season pass in that, right? So you immediately have to pay. Uh, $30 more. Outrageous pricing. Outrageous pricing. We all know Ubisoft is a garbage company run by garbage people, right? I mean, it's French, so... Jokes. Jokes, guys. Um, but you're not making the stereotype any easier. I'm just gonna point that out. So we all know Ubisoft is a trash company, but... It's becoming worse by the second, right? And here's the, the, wor the worst part. You get a bonus quest if you pre-order, so you'll never, if you don't pre-order, you'll never have the full game. You have to pre-order to have the full game. So you have to 
roll the dice and gamble with 70 minimum 70 dollars up to 130 dollars or if you're dumb enough 220 dollars a year right do not ever do not ever 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 get these guys this is the scam right like an, an actual scam they raise prices on these things to try and push you like oh look 18 dollars a month that's not good right but that's 220 dollars a year guys you can get two, two two games and you keep them well it's also ubisoft so you don't even keep them forever because they'll cancel your game right look at the crew cancelled <laughs> right just they just pulled the plug ubisoft doesn't think you you own your games when you buy them so i feel like you shouldn't pay ubisoft any money at all right i've seen this thing float i think it's an interesting uh statement i'm not gonna write um I'm not gonna say yes or no on it, but I've seen the statement and I think it's very interesting. It's a very interesting statement that if you buy games and you don't own them, then piracy perhaps is not stealing? I, it's an interesting argument. Can't lie about that. And it's not, it's not just Ubisoft that does this, right? Although Ubisoft is by far, because they're French, the biggest, <laughs> the biggest, um, scum on the gaming in the gaming planet's sphere alongside you know ea uh, activision blizzard it's it's all of them do it ubisoft is just more brazen because again they're french <laughs> you know stereotypes i know but you're not you're really not making it easier guys like every time you do this like you just prove the stereotype 10 times over you know what i mean like all of this is just straight up scam okay in my opinion like, they're trying to push you into this, and then the fact that you have to pay 70 bucks and you don't even get the game on release date, nor do you get the full game, it should be illegal. Some of these people, I've said this before, you need to put a couple of these guys in jail. And I don't mean the developers that make it, I mean the executives. Like, you put some dude in jail for 5 to 10 years for fraud and, and all of this nonsense, this changes tomorrow. Like, we will not have any of this tomorrow, okay? I, I strongly believe that because these people are scamming you out of your money. It's their entire goal is to scam you out of your money. And they set up these bullshit traps to make you think you're paying you're paying for value even though they're just stealing your money because you're not getting anything in return that's that's valuable at all. Um Assassin's Creed 12, right? The race swap edition. <laughs> I'm not going to go into that, right? But you can find enough on other channels about that. Um, I just think they're the company is far more scummy when it comes to the, the business practices than the whole uh, DEI SBI stuff okay while I do also dislike that this is a far more egregious and far more pressing concern because they're stealing your money guys like 70 bucks and you don't even own the game right because they can fucking and they have again go with google the crew they literally just close the game down and you can't even play it no more you can't you can't do your 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 you can't keep it alive privately because you don't own it if you ah, i'm all for digital right i love digital i don't even have a, a damn optical disc in my in my uh my system anymore right for over a decade now i'm a big fan of digital but these companies are run by the filth of the world and they will they will just take your they will take your shit and lock it down and you can't use it no more you don't own anything if you're on a digital platform and it's high time high time we get some rules and regulations in so we can like take down companies that are run by the filth of humanity and that we now have to deal with go indie guys go as much as you can buy as many indie games as you possibly can play indie games indie games are unique original innovative and the people that make them and sell them are passionate about their job they're not soulless corporate filled trash hum humans all right i'm getting really angry <laughs> okay i'm trying to calm it down but I really, really, like, the executives of gaming companies, the executives of, of big-ass companies, I despise those people. Because those people are the worst humanity has to offer. In many senses of the word. Like, they're all... Oh, I'm going on a political rant. 
All this DEI nonsense and the whole race bait nonsense, they're playing you for suckers. They're playing you for fools. The big fight always has and always will be between those who have and those who don't. All right? It doesn't matter. They don't give a fuck what you look like. They just care that you don't have money. Okay? And that the money you do have, they steal. Like, you're doing the wrong... You're doing... You're, you're fighting the wrong people. We gotta stop fighting amongst ourselves and start fighting against the trash that is in control of our world. Which is these soulless corporate hacks. If, they're f if you're fighting amongst yourself, like, Oh, I don't like your skin color. Oh, I don't like the fact that you're trans. Oh, I don't like the fact that you're cis. It's all a ploy. If you're, if you're fighting amongst yourselves, you're not looking at who's running away with all the money, okay? <laughs> like, it's ridiculous, dude. <clears throat> the middle class is getting destroyed everywhere, and all the imbeciles are, like, running around, like, Oh, I don't like your... Oh, my God. Okay, that went, that went, that went, off, that went off the rails. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, we're gonna suck at it. I'm sucking it. I'm sucking it in. End of the video. Okay. The point is, don't buy, don't buy Ubisoft. Don't reward the soulless filth that run these companies by giving them even more money. Okay. Stop. Stop. Stop spending money on this shit, dude. Like, stop buying these things. Stop reordering these things. And stop thinking early access means early access. No, early access means late access for the people who actually bought the game too. At crazy prices, alright? 70 bucks, but you you have to wait three days to play your game you paid 70 bucks for? What the hell, dude? Out is out, okay? If you're out, I don't give a fuck if, it's, if, you, fa if, if you fake the release with three days access. It's not three days early access. This is release. And this is late access, all right? This is late. You're you're late. Oh my god, I want to punch a fucking executive in the face. I'm not going to because I keep my I, I keep the law, but I really really want to punch some dude, dude. If you drag these guys into the street and you beat them within an inch of their life, guess what changes tomorrow? Okay? <laughs> don't don't do that, guys. Don't. I, don't do it, but it's a nice I, I really wish you could sometimes, you know. Oh. Starship Troopers, violence solves everything. It's not true, guys. It's a meme, okay? <laughs> don't, don't, don't. All right? <laughs> On that note, I, I, I'm gone. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your comments, uh, your thoughts in, in the comments below, and we'll see, you know, we'll see how it goes. Oh, God, I hate these people so much. This is, this gotta stop, dude. We have to stop this. Like, they're taking our franchises, they're pissing all over them, and then they expect us to pay for him, like, insane amounts of money. And some bullshit. Oh, you don't own the full game in a, in a couple of years when we when we want to close the game down, we'll just lock it for everything and fuck you. Like, oh, no, guys, no. I'm I'm gone. Comments, thought below. Blah blah blah. Peace. I love you all.